The sea, vast and mysterious, has long been governed by one supreme deity, Poseidon, the god of the sea. But who was he really? Peering into the mists of antiquity, we find Poseidon, a figure as enigmatic as the deep sea he ruled. Born of the mighty titans Rhea and Cronus, Poseidon's life was turbulent from the beginning. In a twisted tale of power and paranoia, his father Cronus, fearing a prophecy that his children would overthrow him, swallowed each of them whole at birth. Yet, Poseidon, along with his siblings, was destined for more than a life trapped in his father's belly. Their mother, Rhea, hatched a cunning plan to save her youngest son, Zeus. She tricked Cronus into swallowing a stone swaddled in cloth, while Zeus was whisked away to safety. Once he reached maturity, Zeus led a daring rescue mission to free his siblings from their father's stomach. With Poseidon and their other brothers and sisters freed, they waged a titanic war against Cronus and the Titans, a war that would shake the heavens and the earth. Emerging victorious, the siblings drew lots to divide the universe among themselves. Zeus claimed the heavens, Hades, the underworld, and Poseidon, with his affinity for water, became the ruler of the sea. From then on, he was known as the Earthshaker, commanding the oceans and the creatures within, his power personified by his mighty trident. But Poseidon was more than a stern ruler of the sea. He was a complex character, imbued with human-like qualities and emotions. He was known to be moody and vengeful, yet could also be generous and protective. His temperament, like the sea he governed, was ever-changing, oscillating between calm serenity and stormy fury. Poseidon's story, however, is far more than just the ruler of the sea. It is a tale of power, rivalry and passion. And as we delve deeper into the life of this fascinating deity, we'll uncover a narrative as intricate and captivating as the ocean's depths. Poseidon, with his trident in hand, was not only the master of the ocean, but also held sway over earthquakes and horses. The trident, a three-pronged spear, was the symbol of his dominance over the sea, a tool he used to stir up storms, create new sea creatures, or even break the earth apart. The horse, on the other hand, was a symbol of his strength, virility, and speed. Legend has it that Poseidon created the first horse, impressing his brother Zeus so much that he declared Poseidon the ruler of all horses. In addition to his command over the sea and horses, Poseidon was known as the Earthshaker, a title he earned due to his ability to cause earthquakes. These were not mere tremors, but mighty shifts of the Earth's crust that could wreak havoc on the human world. In his anger, Poseidon could cause the ground to split open, swallowing whole cities in its wake. This power made Poseidon a god to be both respected and feared. However, Poseidon's power was not unchallenged. Among the Olympians, he held particular rivalry with Athena, the goddess of wisdom. The most famous tale of their rivalry was their contest over the city of Athens. Both gods desired to be the patron of this illustrious city and to have it named after them. Poseidon, in his bid, struck his mighty trident into the ground, creating a saltwater spring, symbolizing naval power. Athena, however, offered the olive tree, a symbol of peace and prosperity. The Athenians chose Athena's gift, and thus the city was named Athens, a decision that further fueled Poseidon's rivalry with Athena. Despite his mighty powers and fierce rivalry, Poseidon was not immune to the intoxicating pull of love. This sea god, known for his strength and wrath, had a softer side, one that was moved by passion and desire. But that, dear listeners, is a tale for another time. From sea nymphs to mortal women, Poseidon's heart was as vast and fathomless as the seas he ruled. In the realm of Greek mythology, Poseidon was known for his many love interests, his heart wandering as fluidly as the waves of his domain. Each love story spun a tale as unique as the sea creatures that dwelled in the depths, and from these relationships a myriad of offspring was born, each bearing a piece of Poseidon's might and majesty. One such tale tells of Poseidon's pursuit of Demeter, the goddess of harvest. To evade his advances, Demeter transformed herself into a mare and hid among a herd of horses. Unfazed, Poseidon morphed into a stallion, found her, and their union resulted in the birth of a magnificent creature, the horse. 
This majestic being, a symbol of strength and freedom, is a testament to Poseidon's unyielding determination and his profound connection to nature's raw power. Then there's the tale of Medusa, a mortal woman of unparalleled beauty who stole Poseidon's heart. Their love story is one of tragedy, as their union in Athena's temple led to Medusa's transformation into a gorgon. Yet from this ill-fated romance, the legendary Pegasus was born, a winged horse that soared the skies, a symbol of wisdom and fame, forever carrying the mark of Poseidon's love and regret. But amidst these tales of pursuit and tragedy, there was one constant presence in Poseidon's life. His wife, Amphitrite, the sea nymph. Their union was blessed with children, among them Triton, the merman, who echoed his father's command over the sea. Their marriage, though not without its storms, was a testament to Poseidon's capacity for commitment and his ability to balance his turbulent passions. Indeed, Poseidon's love stories were as diverse as the creatures of the sea. His passions, like his tempests, knew no bounds, leading to tales of joy, wrath and heartbreak. And just like the ocean that he ruled, Poseidon's heart was a mystery, forever oscillating between calm and chaos, love and loss. Poseidon's passions were as turbulent as the seas, leading to tales of joy, wrath and heartbreak. Poseidon's influence was not confined to the ancient world. His legacy continues to shape our understanding of the sea. As the god of the sea, Poseidon's imprint is undeniably etched in the history of seafaring cultures. From the ancient Greeks who invoked his name before embarking on dangerous sea voyages to the Romans who adopted him as Neptune, his influence is as vast as the ocean itself. His trident, a symbol of power and authority, is still used in naval insignias around the world, a testament to his enduring impact. Poseidon's influence isn't limited to seafaring alone. His presence permeates the realm of literature and arts. Homer's epic poems, the Iliad and the Odyssey, portray him as a formidable deity, capable of stirring storms and causing shipwrecks. In modern literature, we see Poseidon's influence in works like Moby Dick, where the sea is depicted as a powerful, mysterious force, much like the god himself. His legacy is also immortalized in numerous artworks. From towering statues in ancient temples to the iconic Poseidon of Melos in the Louvre, his image has been captured for eternity. His depiction in art serves as a reminder of the awe and fear that the sea, his domain, can invoke. Poseidon is more than just a deity of the past. He is a symbol of the sea's power and mystery, of its beauty and its terror. His legacy is a reminder of our relationship with the sea, a relationship marked by respect, fear and fascination. We see this in the way we continue to explore the ocean depths, in our efforts to understand its diverse ecosystems and in our attempts to harness its power. Poseidon's legacy is a testament to the enduring human fascination with the sea. We may have charted much of the world's oceans, but the sea remains, in many ways, a vast, unexplored frontier, much like the enigmatic god who ruled it. Poseidon, the god of the sea, continues to rule our imaginations, reminding us of the sea's enchanting allure and unfathomable depths.